Hey, welcome in. You're listening to the daily version of the Corland Economics Report. I'm Al Corland. I appreciate you joining me. This program is being produced exclusively for my friends at Kitco. We have an interesting situation going on in the markets right now that I think have a direct bearing on the price of gold. The conventional markets are down. Gold is also down just a skosh right now. It's down about a dollar forty. There are things going on around the world that I think explain what's happening very easily. Number one, Greece is opposing any kind of oversight, and I think that that's negative on the market. Markets, and I think that may be a little negative on gold, for lack of better terms. Number two, front page of the Wall Street Journal this morning, MF Global came out and said, we can't find a trace of the money. As Trader Raj said when we were talking off the air, you know, talk about a bunch of criminals. It, that really, really is interesting. I think, But I think very shortly you're going to see these negative factors have a very positive impact on the price of gold. Raj, let's talk first about the deal with MF Global and why we think that will have a positive impact. Well, it's a, it's a structural uh, crash or falling apart of a key market, the futures market. MF Global has been involved in that business for many years. And for them to uh, all of a sudden come apart and lose over a billion dollars, claiming they don't know where the money went, this is a black eye on the whole trading industry, not just on futures, but on stocks too. Well, but they also said, they came out this morning and they also said that a week before the failure occurred, quote, never been stronger. (laughs) Yeah, okay. Ridiculous. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. Well, how does all this bad news relate to gold? It's just going to cause more gold buying. Our traders should remember that gold does have its normal corrections and pauses. Uh, On my chart right now for February gold futures, that contract is about to expire. We're in a wave four, and normally they pull back quite a bit, and it didn't pull back hardly any. It opened at seventeen hundred and thirty seven dollars and I'm at seventeen thirty one right now. I'm down like only one tenth of one percent. And silver, even though that's off nine tenths of one percent, the high was thirty four dollars. Last price was thirty three dollars and forty eight cents. What the metals are doing is they are not selling, they're just not buying, they're just pausing. And that's a normal reaction in a market like this. In our newsletter this week, uh, we're writing definitely about all the different things that are going on in the world because of the slow My story headline says, global economy is slowing quickly, stagnation is pervasive and spreading. Here's something I think is really interesting that perhaps some folks are overlooking, and that is, in December, consumer spending was really not very good, okay? The money that came from perhaps a bit of a jump in incomes in December was used to restore depleted savings, and that shows that households remain very, very focused on repairing finances. Prediction from Big Al, I think that's going to bode very, very well for gold because I think that more and more people are going to utilize gold as a method of savings, as as, which is something that our friend James Turk has been advocating for a long, long time, as have most of the other contributors here on uh, on Kitco. Raj, thanks so much, buddy. Thank you. 